Hi, this is Janetta, and I'm telling you, I'm going to talk to you about something that I know you don't know because I didn't know. I thought I knew. You know, one of the things about it is that what, what's so strange is that we kind of settle down and try to, uh, we read things, but we don't check them out. And a lot of things we've been reading are not true. And what I want to talk to you about today is very little because I want what someone else has to say for you to understand because this is what's happening over here. Right now, it doesn't seem like it. You don't know about it. You are probably not getting any news about it. The situation in Niger. And that situation in Niger where the people are fighting back, they're thinking about arming the uh, foreign soldiers to come over and arm soldiers here in some of the African countries for Africans to fight Africans over things that is wanted by France. But we don't know that. You have young men and young women that are going into the military, that are in the military. They might, in at least about a year, be ordered to pick up guns and to shoot their fellow man here in Africa. Yes. From a country that we live in, the United States of America, that doesn't give a damn about us as a people. We're always fighting to get rights. We're fighting to be treated equally. We're fighting for everything and never really being acknowledged. But very soon, oh so very soon, because they have things in Africa that they want to keep, keep for themselves. They have things here that they want to keep control of. And the Africans are saying, no more, because we've been starving and you've been getting fat and rich off of what belongs to us. And it belongs to me and you, black man, African man, African woman. I don't care where you are in the world. Now this video, I'm going to show you. I'm talking fast so I can say it real quick. I want you to share it. I want you to share it with your young people. I want you to share it with each other. Stop being ignorant about what's happening to us as a people. And I mean it. I don't care if you're a Christian people, or Muslim people, or whatever people, or you don't believe. It's happening to all of us as a people. You can try to separate it. But share this. Share my videos with your children. Share my videos so they'll know what's going on in Africa. Because they're not going to pick it up. They're not going to click on Africa to find out what's happening in Africa because they're worried about Kanye West and, and all them other people. Uh, I don't even know all of them. Hip hop artists and everybody and who's sleeping with who and who did what to do with who. That's not going to get them anywhere. But those are diversions. The reason why they're on TV is because they're keeping you from really knowing what's going on in the world. You're only centered in what's going on in the United States and thinking the rest of the world doesn't pertain to you. Oh, yes, it does. Most of us didn't even know what Vietnam was or where Vietnam or even if they had Vietnamese people in the world until the war of Vietnam. Don't let that happen this time. So, hey, you call your son, call your daughter, have some popcorn and check this out. This is a guy, P.L.O. Lumumba. He just spent some time speaking in Costa Rica and visiting. He's going all over the world, wherever we are, to let us know the story. He is from Kenya, so listen to him. For France, the chicken are coming home to roost. They are now being reminded of what they did to Guinea in 1958. They are being reminded of what they did to Algeria. They are being reminded of what they did in Indonesia and other parts of the world. I hope that this very painful lesson is going to send a clear message to the French administration that the time is now to accept and acknowledge that the injustices that are inbuilt in the French system will be dealt with and dealt with satisfactorily with people participation. And it's also a warning to other countries in Europe. Spain had better look. Portugal had better be on the lookout. Italy 
had better be on the lookout. Greece had better be on the lookout. It is a message that is being sent to Europe. If you don't style up and you don't treat other human beings like human beings and you call them animals, then with due respect to animals, they'll behave like animals. Now that you've heard what he has said, and it's true, because every country that he named came in here and invaded and took control. He didn't name the United States of America because they were busy in Central America, Latin America. They were carrying on things there and taking into power those places in that part of the world. But it's the same thing. We were taken as slaves and where did we go? The United States of America, but not all of us. And we don't even know our history of where we came from, who we were before we were a people. We weren't just jungle bunny. We were a people. In addition to that, we not only have problems with people on the outside, we have problems, more problems with the people on the inside that look like us that sell us down the river for a dime or a nickel or a quarter or a few million dollars. I want you to listen to how we've been cooperating with different countries that have tormented and taken control of what belongs to us. So listen to this next video very closely. The rank of many political leaders in Africa are thieves. Let's call them by their name. They are thieves. They are individuals who are not interested in the interest of this country. And as long as we continue electing such individuals into positions of power across Africa, they are going to be manipulated. Now that you listen to this next, that next video and you have an understanding, I want you to talk, have some conversation, because you're not going to find it on the news. It is not going to be on the news. And throughout the East, I've been looking at all the programs and uh, uh, news stations, and they're not even speaking about what's going on. They're like real quiet. If they don't say anything, it's not going to happen. Yes, it's going to happen because these people are tired of being poor. They're tired of jumping in the river, trying to get to the United States of America, the ocean, trying to get to the United States of America, getting to Italy, getting to uh, uh, Portugal, getting to various countries and being drowned in the waters because they're trying to get to countries where they're eating because they want to eat, they want jobs because all their raw material being drained and taken out of here. So they have to seek jobs other places. Industry, not here in Tanzania and Africa. But do you don't want to hear it? But it's going to affect you, brother. It's going to affect you, sister. It's going to affect you, grandma and grandpa, because it's going to affect your generation. Do you want your grandchildren to fight the very nation they belong to, the very people they belong to, we were stolen, and now we want to come back, killing our own flesh and blood? Ah, think about it. Think about it. Okay, this is Janetta, and I want you to make sure you listen to Blacks of Radio. I'm sorry that I haven't been telling you about Blacks of Radio, but listen to blacksofradio.com, and I'm on there on Saturdays at 8 o'clock. Also, I want you to share this. Share it, like it, or don't like it, but like it, subscribe, and give me the strength and give me the encouragement to keep on informing you of things you cannot get or you won't know to look at. Please. Okay. See you later.